Good morning internet, it is 8.25 in the morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my little mansion uh, out here, a really <laughs> nice place um, so I had made my own breakfast today it's not very impressive but I got some, what did I get? granola with uh, nuts from this thing and some milk and uh, one uh, little yogurt uh, today, what am I going to do? I am going to ride to a town called Koyai, Koyaike I think it is it is about 220 or no it is about 200 kilometers i think i have to take care a little bit because uh, there is a stretch kind of in the middle um where they close the road between one and five <laughs> i got this information yesterday which is amazing because yeah if you miss that then you have to drive all the way back or you have to wait four hours if you arrive like five minutes plus one so I have to take care a little bit that I arrive at that stretch before one Then everything should all be fine uh, The weather is changing, I think today is the last day And then there's gonna be a stretch of rain There's like four days of rain predicted So I thought, okay, I'm gonna ride today And then uh, probably wait out the rain in uh, Koyaike That's the plan uh, I'll show you the map actually Let's get the map out So I didn't draw it on the map yet so but i am now here right at that northern little tip of the lake over there koyaike is on the map so that's here koyaike and so the route from uh, where i'm now to koyaike it will all be on the Carretera austral so it will all be gravel i would say everything got so dusty here really that Carretera austral is insanely dusty or actually maybe the difference is it's not dustier than the dirt roads or the gravel roads in Argentina but here there's just more traffic so every time uh, a car uh, passes me then I just <laughs> get this covered in this dust cloud so normally I don't take everything off but um, as you've seen in the last video I went on this boat uh, ride and I don't like to leave uh, the bike with stuff on it for like two hours on end somewhere Just all these flowers, it's amazing, right? And they smell so strongly. I know you can't smell them, but I certainly can. Looks absolutely beautiful. And they're coming like these uh, yellow ones, but I also saw a lot of purple yesterday. Super beautiful. See, these are the purple ones. See, they're everywhere here. Uh, alongside the river Koyaike so now I'm back on the Carretera Austral oh wow look at that field of those purple flowers over there amazing is it slightly raining at the moment actually I hope it will not uh rain anymore uh, but wow incredible they're just growing everywhere Big difference with Argentina, right? So interesting to 
really see how those westerly winds make sure that all the rain is dumped on this side of the Andes. And then on the other side of the Andes, on the Argentina side, it is so dry and just nothing grows there. And the wind is much stronger because it's, yeah, so flat. I don't know, it kind of feels like I'm riding in a Jurassic Park or something. I think I reached the roadworks place. Yeah, pretty sure. So this, they close this entire stretch of 15 kilometers between one and five every, every weekday. Here comes the toilet. Important. <laughs> yeah. Siga. Okay. slowly climbing. I am now at uh, 1000 meters elevation. You can see that I'm coming a lot closer to the snow out here as well. Oh, this is so nice! Curves! It's been such a long time ago. I don't think I had any curves at all in the whole time in Argentina. <laughs> or at least not like this. It's now only uh, 60 kilometers to uh, Coyhaique. I'm going a lot quicker than I thought because for the last, what is it, yeah, maybe 30 kilometers already I'm riding on uh, paved and I didn't expect that, I thought the whole day would be on gravel, oh, I guess, ah. so yeah, it's going uh, quicker, but it's fine, I mean, oh, <laughs> yesterday I had a very long day. Uh, with the boat trip to the marble caves so actually it's quite fine if I arrive a bit earlier today have an easy day first I thought I'll stay two nights in uh, that place where I was this morning but because of the predicted rains I thought yeah then I'll be stuck there for uh, another four days maybe and the internet was horrible <laughs> so I thought uh, I can't really get any work done either, so I'll just be stuck there. There's nothing there, so that's why I decided to ride today to Koyaike. It's a bit of a bigger place and uh, hopefully with better internet, so I can do some work.
and I am in Koyaike. So, well, before lunch time, it's now quarter to one. And then as a shared bathroom over there. Um, nice day. I really enjoyed it. Um, nothing much spectacular happened, but um, I think the scenery was pretty and I just loved riding curves. And I was really thinking, yeah, this is just such a long time ago since I've been riding corners and everything. And I guess that's the, the downside of, of riding in gravel on me. You don't really take corners the same way uh, as you do when you're riding on a paved road. So I actually really enjoyed it. I was like, burp, burp, burp. So yeah, that was a lot of fun uh, riding. And yeah, other than that, extremely dusty day. Um, yeah, everything is covered, <laughs> covered in dust. Uh, but anyway, I will wait out the rain here and as soon as the rain has passed uh, I will go again All the locals are saying as well like yeah, it's gonna be raining for a couple of days So uh, just wait that out and then uh, hit the road again. So yeah, that was it for today uh, I hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video